If you want to understand human behavior, you need to understand this mysterious relationship between the human brain and human behavior. At the Maastricht Brain Imaging Center, psychologist and cognitive neuroscientist Alexander Sack leads the Vision Awareness and Cognition Lab. The center provides cutting-edge brain imaging techniques, which are used to explore the functioning and the plasticity of the human brain. Humans are capable of uh, selectively focusing on the relevant information and, dist uh, and, and distract uh, irrelevant information. This is what we call attention, so they can focus and select. And they have the ability to remember and store this information in their memory and retrieve it if, if, if needed. And these are the cornerstones of, of human cognition, attention and memory. In cognitive neuroscience, we're trying to, to uh, understand the relationship between the brain and these cognitive functions. And we now have uh, at our hands various new methods to non-invasively study the, the healthy uh, human brain. And this is the prerequisite really to develop new therapies. And there's a lot we already learned about uh, the neural mechanisms or the neurobiology of attention and memory in the brain. We know which networks are relevant. Uh, by, for example, using uh, functional magnetic resonance imaging, the brain scanners, to map the areas that are active when you execute these functions. The problem or limitations with this uh, method is that the fact that you see certain areas being active does not necessarily tell you whether they are really necessary or what their exact functional contribution is for this task. And therefore, we go one step further. In addition to just mapping and measuring brain activity, we use non-invasive brain stimulation techniques to actually uh, manipulate these neural activities, uh, enhancing them or interfering with them, and then measuring the effect of this brain stimulation on the cognitive performance. In my lab, we have different methods to, to influence or manipulate the brain. And one of the most prominent one, uh, ones we use is transcranial magnetic brain stimulation, or TMS. And as the word array says, it uses magnetic pulses, very strong uh, magnetic pulses that are changing over time. We apply them uh, into the brain and uh, we do that at a specific frequency. And depending on the frequency, we can uh, stimulate a brain area or we can interfere with its functioning. And we here in Maastricht managed to measure all of these things simultaneously. That means we can actually have somebody in the brain scanner measuring his brain activity while he's doing a cognitive task and at the same time apply magnetic pulses to his brain to interfere or stimulate his brain and see the consequences of his brain stimulation on his behavior and his brain activity. So in essence, what you get then is a setup like this. What's very exciting now is because we are the first lab in the world that managed to combine not only TMS, so the brain stimulation technique, with fMRI, the brain scanner that localizes the brain, uh, brain responses to the stimulation, but also with EEG all together. And the EEG gives us the additional information on the exact frequency with which these networks communicate and recruit other network in a certain frequency to, to code for these cognitive functions. And with this picture, we now can actually move one step further still by uh, developing new, new therapies based on brain stimulation that tries to sync on this exact frequency that is needed in an individual brain for an individual patient to really boost uh, the recovery of the, uh, the symptoms uh, in, in various uh, diseases. Okay.